Hi guys, it's Yang. I just got home from Canada. YCS Niagara Fall just concluded and I actually uh, got very lucky at this event. Um, made top 32, got into the day two with the X1 record. So I had a little bit of leeway here. But so I um, ended up uh, winning uh, the first round of day two and uh, losing to uh, Landon Oliver in uh, the last round of Swiss, which I made a misplay game three, which I absolutely should have won in ended the tournament with an X1 record but hey we still we still made it and uh would you just look at these sleeves it's so nice and uh the mat is also very nice too as well so um let's just um go in I'll show you guys the list I I ran all right so right here got uh Fulos, ash blossom ogre Valor, Imperm, and uh, Bistios and Callback. These are the non-engines that I ran for the tourney. Um, everything was super clutch. Like every every single thing came up. Obviously, that this is probably the most broken one. Like you go second and you see this, but it it got like Ash Blossom. It got cross out. It like. It's crazy. It it rarely resolves. I'll let you know that for sure. So when it resolves though, it just checks their board so good. And um throughout the entire event, I did not break a single hand. It's this deck is insane. I ran out forty six cards. Like the the worst hand I've drawn all weekend was probably just Four non-engines and a single track. And it this got Ash Blossom for some reason. Nobody ashes this card. But it got Ash and I just pass. And throughout my non-engines, I still won that game. And also, this ratio seems questionable. But a plus side is, if you get Perulia, the jellyfish, you just make them neck one. You see, any of these six cards, which I always see one of them in my in my opening hand it's crazy and it just um baits out stuff too it lets you make desiree early to to check their uh set and then uh we got three sensara three grave squirmer one 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 to very standard stuff except for the gray squirmer maybe someone like two but i always play the deck with one gray squirmer yeah just the uh, standard stuff and the uh, one final is the escape i always combo with like um yama and grave escape rage on on board so this worked better than um chamber for me it's just um out a lot of cards for me as well and sometimes if you hard open it you can just make yama and uh, you can set this and then you can just use this target yama and then pop stuff too as well that came up once as well okay we'll go into the extra deck play three phantom yes you can play the deck with two like on master do which i play with two but it's much easier. You, it just makes your life much easier when you have the third copy. You know what I mean? Like, if you play this deck, you know what I mean. Like, the, the third copy will absolutely come up. And then the Fiendsmith package. Very standard stuff. Like, I made this, like, literally every other game, if not every game. Desiree. It's more of boss monster than Phantom itself at this point. And then we got... Rage and uh, Yama, very standard. And then SP and High Wave King Caesar. Arrow Eater, mandatory. Mudcracker, mandatory. And then these two. It's nice to fit them after cutting Necroquip Princess. And I have to forego um, Rerudris, which it did came up once or twice throughout the tournament. But the games that I, it came up, I still grinded out the game and won without it. But it would have been much easier if I had it. So these two might have to go back to the side deck. And I have to put back Rerudris and the Underworld Goddess. So Underworld Goddess never came up though. But you know it might. 
Okay, and then we got uh, two thrusts. I gave it back to my teammate already. And then these are the thrust targets. Just these four. Like I got extremely lucky. If I got if I got four lows this weekend, I always had thrust to set either one of those two, depending on the matchup. So I didn't have to think much. And then we got three judgment. Car was really good. It's just um like with how consistent my deck is. Like opening one of this to back up my board is just you're just gonna seal the deal. It's like a nail in the coffin there. And then uh rivalry. Three Perulia. Sometimes actually Perulia is better than Fuelos, depending on the matchup. Like against like Snake Eye Azamina type of decks, you drop this in the draw phase. It puts them on a very, very hard spot. It puts them on a harder spot if they're hit by Fuelos. And then uh, we got these two. These two could, should probably be Anguish and Assets Code, because I never used these two. Yes, this was sided, but I never summoned it. So. Yes, that's my thoughts on those two cards there. Never went into time. My matchups, it was um, funny. I got my first loss in the third round. I played two flus in a row. Uh, that was my first loss. And um, I played um, two Tempies. I beat both of them in Swiss. And um, finally, I only played one Fire King, which is Oliver, uh, which I lost to. Play a Rescue Ace. Yeah, play a Mimigu as well. It's just, um, it was play my heart out the whole weekend. It's, it's, um, sometimes you need some luck to go your way too. But thank you guys for watching the video. Like and subscribe. And, um, hopefully we got more top, uh, YCS tops in the future. Uh, have a good night, guys. Take care. Bye bye.